very latest on the mysterious Hollywood murder of Hollywood publicist Ronnie Chasen. We're learning more now about the man wanted for questioning who committed suicide two nights ago. We're also learning a bit about the large fortune Chasen left behind. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy has the latest. Detectives won't comment, but on Wednesday night, their investigation led them to this rundown Hollywood apartment building. A so-called person of interest shot and killed himself in front of police as they tried to question him. He's reportedly Harold Martin Smith. His neighbors are not sure what to believe. He was telling my husband, someone hired me, and, I, and I'm just getting a big payoff, and I'll be expecting $10,000 here in the next few days. He said, you know, that little nice lady driving that nice car, and he goes, that was me, that was me. I, mean, I don't believe he was a hitman or nothing, because his intelligence was in there. His charisma, his character, he's seen poor, he's seen with a bicycle. The Hollywood blogosphere is consumed by this real-life whodunit. There are now competing theories as to what happened to Ronnie Chasen. One Hollywood journalist reports that Chasen was killed by a hitman because of a business deal gone bad. They have a suspect in mind and that they're getting closer to, you know, closing in on that suspect. Um, and that is probably the person that paid to have the shooter kill Ronnie Chasen. Yet the website TMZ quotes sources saying Chasen had a fierce temper and may have been the victim of road rage when she was shot and killed on November 16th. She was driving home from a movie premiere. The cops believe that road rage here is a possibility. Um, it is one scenario they're looking at. They're looking at road rage, mistaken identity. They're looking at the possibility of a contract hit. Chasen was an A-list Hollywood publicist, and we now know she was also a very wealthy woman. TMZ obtained at least one version of her will, which shows a net worth of $6 million. Chasen gave nearly $60,000 to charity, the rest to her family. So in death, she left behind millions of dollars and dozens of questions in this all-too-real Hollywood murder mystery. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.